This is my 1986 Oldsmobile 98 Broham that I have for sale. Do a quick walk around and I'll show you the interior and what's good and what's bad on it, I guess. So here's the inside. Got 99,520 miles. Fuel gauge, auto calculator, CD player. Does have power windows, power locks, and front power seats. And in the back, got cigarette lighters in the door with power windows. And you got center seat belt. And then they are only lap belts in the back, all LED lights. Converted everything to LED on the inside. Under the hood is the 3800 Series 1, which is uh, fuel injected with a ignition with an automatic transmission. Now starting at the front, I'll go over what it needs. It will need an alignment because I replaced both the uh, front and uh, rear struts. Um, these uh, caps right here, they tend to rot, get old, so I had uh, 3D printed some, painted them flat black. I did that on both sides. As you can see, this one's got some uh, white stuff on it from doing buffing and waxing. Those have been replaced, and the paint on top of the bumper is fading. I don't know if I can get it on camera, but there are some blemishes in the paint. And the worst one is on the hood. Let me close it. And it goes all the way across. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get this on film, but there's almost a line where the clear coat was painted over. And I might be able to get it right there. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it's almost under the clear coat, and there's like paint chips every now and then. I mean, it's an old car. Same thing with the mirrors. Looks like some of the uh, clear coat is peeling a little bit, as well as the driver mirror. Got some peeling right there. And then sitting in the driver's seat, the steering wheel is cracked that's a pretty common issue with these cars yeah there it goes yeah so there's a cover on it i think yeah it's broken on the bottom here too so yeah this uh cover needs to be on there or a different one at least but the steering wheel's in good shape other than that and now i'll cover everything that i guess is good the uh, alternator has been rebuilt as a new ignition control module with coils and wires has um, a new cam crank and chain and chain tensioner on the front of the motor and that was all just because these things are known or prone for the old ones breaking they're made of plastic the battery is four years old but still works good has Sylvia um, just low beam the high beams are still halogen but it has the nice Sylvania performance um, low beam headlights the tires are brand new with very little miles on them I would say they're probably 99% tread I did forget to mention one of the or two of these caps are missing I'll go to the other side to show what they are but I put both the ones that are missing on the passenger side um, yeah we'll go around the uh, power antenna I replaced that so that works the hood struts have been replaced. Um, let's see here. I think that's all under the hood. Oh, and here we can show you what those caps look like. They just pop off. Um, let's see here. On the inside, yeah, CD player, cup holder. I think I mentioned AC works. All the mirrors work. So they're just manual mirrors, but they all work. Seat belts. Everything works on this car, including the... Uh, Upper lights. I'll put that at the end of the video when it gets darker. Um, rear struts have been replaced. 
Rear shoes, hardware kit, drums, and wheel cylinders have been replaced. Um, I replaced uh, these corner things, like I said. I think that's it on the outside. The only other thing, I guess, um, the power windows. I replaced the window tape, and there's a little ball joint socket that connects the window to the motor. And that went bad. And I replaced it, and if you slam this door with the window down, it will actually pop out. And what it did is it actually put a little ding in the tent on that window when it popped out on the passenger side. So I find you can't have the windows down and slam these doors or you had to take the whole door panel off to fix that. Here is it starting. It does have an extended crank. I believe the fuel pump one-way valve is bad so you have to crank it a little bit. It starts right up. Show you the power antenna. All I do is I hit the uh, radio on, and there, that's me hitting the radio on, and there's the antenna. Go outside so you can see the motor. Guess what I'll do now is I'll uh, I'll drive it over. I'll put it in my garage. I'll put it up on uh, car ramps, and I'll get you a, a video of the underside or the undercarriage. Guess before I go under, I did forget to mention the headliner is in dang near perfect shape, with the exception of one spot right here, and this is right by the uh, back passenger area. It's right there, just that, that little area right there. So, I don't know how well that shows up on camera. My screen looks pretty black. But, yeah, that's the uh, headliner. So, typically, these all fall, so that's actually really good for this. I guess while I got the door open, we'll go around the door jams. Show you there's no rust in here. All the bottoms of the doors. So this is the driver back. Looks like there might be a little bit of bubble rust right there. Now that might actually, yeah, that looks like their glue that they use because it comes down right there. Go to the driver one. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's just their uh, glue that they use to glue the seams together. A few leaves and stuff. That's all good. Let's hop on over to the passenger side. <clears throat> Some dirt in there. Come on, shaky hands. We got this. Back passenger, uh, the front passenger. And if there's anything you guys would like a picture of, just let me know. I can come out here and quick snap a picture of anything or any concerns you have. It's like there's a bunch of debris and leaves there, but no rust. It's the bottom of the front passenger door. Mm. There might be rust in this one. That one looks like there's some rust behind it, but it ain't bad. It's not crunchy or nothing. I'm pushing on it pretty hard and there ain't nothing moving. Looks like there's a little chip right there in the door too. Other than that, that door is all good. So let me get my creeper and a flashlight and we'll uh, go underneath the car uh, right there, right under there. So we'll take a look underneath. All right, so here's the underside of the front bumper. Looks like there's a little bit of surface rust starting there on the bottom side. That's below the turn signal. And then here's your cradle. These are, uh, if 
you're looking at buying one of these things, make sure to look at your cradles good because they all rust out on these things. Or for the majority, this one's in really good shape. Here's the other. This is the driver front one. The other one I showed you was passenger front. We'll make our way to the back. I'll see if I can't get under there. Looks like it does have a transmission cover leak or a pan gasket leak or something. Can't say I really noticed any drips in the driveway, but I do park in different spots a lot. So, yeah, there, if it concerns you, there is a little, yeah, it looks like a little drip starting forming right there, but well, I don't know how well here. Let me maneuver my hands around a bit. So, here is the driver's, driver's rear body mount or cradle mount. Here is the passenger rear cradle mount. There's a, get a picture or a video of the new struts. I guess not new, they're four year old new. I replaced them. I replaced the struts when I first got the car. So air ride works and everything on the car. So there's your CV, all the drivetrain. Like that. There we go. Focus camera. There's your fuel lines, brake lines, return line, catalytic converter. I'm guessing all factory exhaust. And there's your underbody, your uh, your your subframe and pinch weld. We'll go over there and take a look at that. Yes, well I got it up. There's a there's the look of your tire. Still has the lines on it. Yeah, they're pretty much brand new. So here's the passenger side. And that's your passenger body mount again. There's your pinch weld. This is where it will rust out most likely because it'll be right behind the tire. So there's no rust there. You can follow that all the way back. That's the pinch weld all the way to the back tire. And you got your fuel tank. This is all your underbelly. I can't see my camera. There we go. Yeah, that's all your undercarriage, your exhaust. All right, we'll go to the driver's side. All right, here is the driver's side body mount. Like I said, really focus. These, these ones will be the ones that'll rust most likely, the back ones on these older cars. Here's your uh, pinch weld. Going all the way back, and then there's your subframe. Once again, here's some of your brake lines. That's right, I did do a fuel filter on it too. Uh, trying to remember where that bugger's at. It's not right there. Those are all your uh, brake lines and fuel lines. They got plenty of life left in them. And then your subframe right here, going all the way to the front. The fuel filter is back here. I'm not seeing it, but I know I did the fuel filter on this guy. There she is. It's got a Canon fuel filter on it. I did when I first bought the car, too. Those are your fuel lines and brake lines right there. That's probably the worst part of them right there, and that still ain't bad. You got years for them suckers still. And just to let you know, the fuel line fittings twisted right off. Usually those are rusted pretty bad too. And there's the end of your uh, unibody right there. Your fuel tank and whatnot. All underneath the fender. So, Like I said, if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know and I will get you a picture. I guess before I end the video there, this is your rear rocker panel right here. And the most rust on the car is actually right here. That's the bottom side of the back bumper. So that's that's pretty much where all the rust is at. There's your exhaust. I'm guessing once again all factory exhaust, factory suspension, other than I did the struts as you can see in there. So those have been redone. But there you go. So if you have any questions, shoot me a message and I will get you a picture.